Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. We are here on Ashley's channel, actually. So I'm not gonna be on this channel a whole lot, but I'll be on it here and there, I think. But I wanted to do a quick intro since most of you guys are probably coming from my channel, Last Line of Defense. So hit that subscribe button here, give it a like, comment, and I'm gonna give a little bit of a backstory. So we're gonna be talking about the, the chicken run and the coop. So I have had chickens before I live in Colorado at almost 9,000 feet of elevation. I had a flock of chickens, I guess, in my old house that was at similar elevation. And I sold that house and gave my chickens to a neighbor and then bought this house. So we moved here and Ashley wanted chickens again. So we got a new flock of chickens. These are all around three months old, so they're not laying yet. But this is the coop and the run that I built from scratch. Uh, a few months ago, kind of taking what I learned from my old coop and run and taking some things I liked and ditching some things I didn't like and we built this. So Ashley's gonna get into talking about the coop, but what you can expect kind of on this channel moving forward is some chicken stuff. She'll probably talk more about, you know, chicken stuff, but also women's view of camping and overlanding and the stuff we do and hiking and maybe women's centric gear reviews. So. If you're into that stuff or if you just kind of want more behind the scenes of what's going on that I'm not showing on my channel, get subscribed. Hey guys, I'm Ashley and this is a tour of our chicken coop. So we live at high elevation in Colorado. It snows quite a bit of the year, so we wanted to have a pretty large run area. So we made this, it is about 11 feet by 20 feet. So we made this covered area so they could have space to roam when they don't want to be out in the snowy yard. We put some gutters at the end of this slanted roof so that we could collect rainwater for the chickens and for the plants in the area. And we made it so the fencing goes from the ground to the roof so it's predator proof. Nothing can get in there. The fencing is buried a little bit underground, so if there's a fox, it can't dig underneath. And just in case a predator does get in the run somehow, we have motion sensor lights and cameras inside of the run to alert us if there's something in there. So we used some pretty heavy duty wood here and we used a couple of trees to attach the fencing to so that if a bear comes, it'll be pretty hard to push this down and get into the run. So here's the metal panels that we put in and then we also did a clear panel so that more sun could get in because chickens love sunlight and it does help with egg production. Here's our sweet little chicknick table with our chicks enjoying their fodder that we grew. If you're interested in growing fodder and mealworms and want to see the process behind it, go ahead and comment and let me know. We put in a few roosts for the chickens because chickens do get bored and they like to rest on the roosts mostly. So we've got a couple here, some down there, and then over by their food storage we have another roost and a swing. So we built the run close to the house. We have it right next to our back door and we extended the roofing so that in the winter time we'll have a nice clear walkway that is snow free so that we can just easily get in here and get to the eggs. For a lot of people they notice that there is a smell and bugs to it but being in the mountains of Colorado, high elevation, pretty cool weather for most of the year. We don't have a problem with smell or bugs, but we do have, I mean, bedding and cleaning everything will always help keep smells under control. So out here we are using straw bedding and when this gets dirty, we'll go ahead and rake it up and put new straw bedding out. So here is our coop. We have our ring camera here looking out so we can see on the other side of the fence if anything is approaching. Um, we have a large window on the side with the most sun, so more light gets into the coop. We have a clear door for sunlight and it just 
opens like that. So we have a silky and a frizzled chicken and those two can't really jump very well. So they stay on this lower roost while the others are able to easily get up on the top roost. We use two by threes on the two inch and then on the three inch over here so that the chickens could choose which one they like more and what's most comfortable. There is food over here. It's just filled at the top up here and we've got water on the other side that has a little nipple system. These are both made from four inch PVC. We currently have the nesting boxes blocked off because the chickens shouldn't really spend time in the nesting boxes until they're actually laying eggs. We do have the coop elevated so that the chickens can have more ground space. Chickens need quite a bit of space. I think it recommended is about 10 square foot per chicken. We have this doorway like this with no lip so that we can easily just sweep the dirty bedding out of the coop when it needs to be changed. And we have linoleum flooring here so it's easy and it all just slides right out. For the nesting box, this will have a hinge on it and we'll just access it back here. The nesting box top is this tall because we weren't actually expecting to have the coop elevated. So we'll build just maybe a little stool or something that we'll keep out here. Originally, we were planning on just having this ramp textured and since it's not that steep, we thought it would be okay for the chickens. But these little friends with the feathered feet couldn't grip it and we ended up having to put these little strips of wood on. So this door is an omelet door. It's really cool. It is automatic. So this door you can choose to either have it open and close with the sunrise and sunset or with a timer. We went with a timer. So I was really excited about this door because the colors match the coop perfectly. Very important. That is very important. I love these colors. <laughs> and this hen house sign up here I got on Amazon. I was pretty excited to put that up. I'm sure we'll have more fun stuff that we'll be putting up and we'll do a coop update eventually. And of course, we'll link to this stuff down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions and comment and let me know what you guys would like to see in future videos. Get subscribed and hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you back here for the next video. I love these low rider chairs because they can be nice close to the ground so the chickens can come and sit on your lap and then you can just fold them up when you're done so the chickens don't poop on them.